Welcome back to the Last Remnant Video Walkthrough 100% Completion Guide. We are now completing guild tasks for Sword of the Three Realms. This is the second video. Uh, we are continuing in our, uh, our terraforming of Foreign Strand, uh, Realm of the Sea Monster. Uh, there are a bunch of nice rares here. This is a, a great place to uh, collect those um, while we kill Manhunters. Uh, the Manhunters are the eyeballs. Uh, I am cutting out uh, trips to uh, Realm of the Sea Monster. Uh, we, uh, you, when you come into Foreign Strand, you have to walk by that first place, a st Starry Sea or something like that. Um, uh, and so I'm just skipping those trips and trips to the world map. Here is the other rare, the dog I was talking about. Um, and I'm, I'm don't think this guy is one-time spawn. I think he will, I think he will respawn. And I think it turns out that we had actually killed um, a few more Manhunters than I thought we had in the main quest or in uh, side quest where we had battlefields. Uh, like, I remember one specifically for Roberto where we had to kill um, uh, several eyeballs stacked together. Uh, and while they can be called deaths or um, evil eyes and stuff like that... Um, I was. Um, I think we've actually killed them when they're called manhunters. Yeah, this is our big chance. Okay, so no manhunters spawned this time uh, that I came back here, uh, but nothing spawned either. Nothing else spawned in its, its place, so I knew there was a rare, and we found the dog, and that's where we are right now. Um, manhunters, manhunters. Um, this is a pain in the ass, and they know it's a pain in the ass. That's why they make it uh, necessary in order to unlock rank 4 of the Sword of the Three Realms guild. Um, there's another place you can farm Manhunters if you want. Um, we were able to capture Swift Main, so he's going in our uh, rare box. Uh, but we'll split all the rest. Um, uh, the Manhunters can also be found in the Sixth Path. Um, however, that's there's some high-level... Uh, monsters in there. The, tra the trash is... Uh, takes a while to kill. Um, so, uh, okay. and there's not that many eyeballs there, I mean, as opposed to here. Um, they can get stuck in the geometry in uh, Sixth Path. I've seen them, like, stuck in the wall. Um, and so this is the no-hassle way to do it, is to go into Forge Strand. Now, it didn't show me going to the world map, didn't show me running through the first area of the zone. Um, just have us uh, zoning into Realm of the Sea Monster, finding some more Manhunters, and doing some fan damage to these uh, ocular bitches. We don't have the uh, weekly or daily for these, I don't think. Uh, at some point in time, uh, we're going to need drops uh, from captured uh, eyeballs, uh, evil eyes, I believe. Um, so this is not the last time we'll be farming eyeballs, um, but it, I think it's the last time we'll be farming eyeballs for uh, this this guild. I've got you a little stronger. And we didn't have to do it for the last guild either, so um, I, I don't remember right off if there are some uh, for the next guild. I guess we'll find out. Um, all of the guild tasks have uh, like a, a number of creatures they want you to kill, all of them have um, some items they want you to pick up, and all of them have some kind of rares in them, but they all have differing amounts. Like, in the last guild, the Union of the Golden Chalice, we had to kill an ass ton of rares. I mean, I think maybe 12 or 13 in there, um, and in this one, uh, we only there's only four rares that you need to kill. Uh, so, uh, they're not the uh, they're not the, the same quantity of things. It, you can definitely tell the difference between which guild tasks you're doing because uh, they're in different. Uh, they're wanting different quantities of items. Um, I had mentioned, and I'd like to mention it in every video or every other video um, of the guild tasks we are not doing in these seven videos. Um, we are not doing uh, six videos, sorry, for Sword of the Three Realms um, is only six. Um, we're not doing the uh, the, ta the guild tasks that need us to create weapons. Um, 
or they're called Weapon Master uh, tasks, but we will be putting those off uh, until we... We're going to do it at the same time that we're building our weapons, because it's the same type of thing. We're going to need to collect components for weapons, uh, and while we're collecting them for our 18, we're going to collect them for all these guild tasks, and then we'll be able to turn those in. Um, so uh, there are some guild tasks that we put off. Um, the other, the only other guild tasks that we're putting off are the big ass world bosses uh, that we may not even be able to kill right now. Well, we probably can't kill them right now. Um, uh, there are some mini bosses in each, um, and those I will be doing. Uh, not not the big world bosses, but the mini bosses. Uh, in this one, the only mini boss is well. The last guild we had uh, Eldritch Dragon, and we had uh, uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? Um, oh, the uh, Cyclops Standard Model uh, were the two mini bosses in the last guild. In this guild, we only have one, and that's the Fiery Gates. I've mentioned it a couple times, but I did I never mentioned the name. Um, we fought it when it was called uh, the Gates of Hell, and it was in the main plot. And it marionetted all our guys and was all kinds of hassle. Well, we got a okay, huge beefed up version of that um, for this guild task. And uh, we will be dealing with that uh, probably in the next video. Um, once we uh, get all our ranks done this video and uh, and our eyes. Uh, the Eye of the Demon and the Eye of the Gods. Okay, so this time no eyeballs, but we got an orca here. And orca is definitely respawnable. He's there a lot. In fact, I had more orca spawns than I had eyeball spawns. Um, and so uh, I believe, for that reason, I do not show all the orca kills because there were so many of them. Uh, so uh, when it comes time for us to sell our rare captured creatures, we will have four, maybe five orcas. And you may wonder, well, shit, I only saw you kill it once. Uh, that's because it's the same fight every time. Uh, and I, um, I didn't want to re uh, record it every single time. But he's uh, one of these uh, Hydra guys, and I think we have one of the Hydra magazines. Hydra uh, Weekly, probably. Got some good hit points. Uh, survived a hit from uh, Duke Gore. He's got to got to have some uh, some skills. Okay, but right off the bat, I know what you you know what I'm about to say about his name. Uh, this Hydra is called uh, Orca, uh, which is uh, a killer whale. It's a uh, it's another name for the killer whale that uh, swims in water. Um, this is. Nothing could look less like uh, an orca than that shit we just fought right there. Um, I will be pointing it out every time they name shit uh, backward. I'm becoming stronger. I'll try this baby out as soon as I can. Right. Um, all that sound was there, if you heard. Um, the crabs here stay underwater. Some of them hide underwater. So if you walk over water, they'll jump out. and They'll make that squealing sound they make when they die. Um, it kind of it kind of scares you. Kind of makes you think that there's a rare about to pounce on you. But uh, it's it's just the uh, regular crabs here. Okay, we're pouring out the world map, or are we? Let's flash ahead to us coming back into Realm of the Sea Monster. Uh, and see if we can... Um, well, there is a sea monster here. I guess an orca is a sea monster. Um, so they got that right, but when they went to draw what an orca looks like, um, they uh, they must have had a blind kid doing it. Uh, they must have had Rhea doing it. Okay, so yay, more manhunters. And like I said previously, this is the annoying thing. There's never two of them. There's never more than one. There's only ever one in uh, her pull. I cannot give you an accurate number of um, uh, manhunters we've got killed now because there's no way in the game to tell how many we've killed. Um, our next few kills are going to be manhunters. And 
and uh, in later videos I won't even be showing this type of stuff like if I have to come in here and kill the same creature again I just won't film it I'll just mention it to you that hey we did the same thing we did last time my patience with um, <laughs> re recording uh, uh, duplicate battles uh, wore out wore thin um, and that'll happen in a few videos when I just uh, give up on it because uh, um, the videos were gonna approach a hundred and I didn't want them to get to a hundred um, we uh, max out at 87 videos to do all this stuff, and uh, I didn't think people wanted to watch uh, duplicate stuff so much. All right, enough about that. Uh, say something helpful about these manhunters. Uh, well, they die too early for any strategy, but ding fits ding 60. That's nice. Um, and what will happen there and won't be recorded because I'm skipping through that is guys will be offered. Um, uh, Arts to skill up, you know, or, or arts to, you know, somebody will be able to do remedies, somebody will be able to do um, potions and stuff like that, and that's what happens when you hit the world map after you ding. Um, but uh, when I'm skipping those videos, so we won't be able to see our guys choosing what new things they get at 60. But you've seen it a million times before, and it's just something we're going to turn off anyway, so uh, no worries there. Hey, so um, this time through here, um, we're doing we're doing something uh, exactly like the last time we ran through here, and that's killing eyeballs. Yeah, they are wily. They don't want to get caught. It, I mean, they'll come after you if you get close enough to them. But trying to chase them down, uh, they they are hard to get sometimes when they uh, can disappear and reappear. It's a neat graphic. I mean, I know it's just a circular eyeball with the spikes coming out of it, which is scary in of itself. And it's nice when it dies that it rolls away like <laughs> like, an, like gravity kicks in. Uh, whatever was motoring it to be able to levitate above ground uh, uh, died and it hits the ground. Hey, a captured manhunter. That's pretty rare. That's pretty rare. And we've got another manhunter here to kill. Um, but yeah, no, it's a neat graphic. Like if you uh, if you walk around to an eyeball and get close enough to it, it it'll turn around and the eyeball will just stick on you. Like it'll look and watch where you're going. Uh, it's kind of neat. We're not really giving them time to turn around and look at us, but uh, Come on. it's a nice rotation. Like, how about this uh, for the name of an eyeball? How about Bloodshot? And then you just, like, uh, you have a Bloodshot eyeball. And then you don't have to name it, like, um, uh, Banana. Or, or something like that that is not what we're fighting. Uh, they really should have consulted um, somebody from the uh, United States or England or some English-speaking country before... Um, just opening the Webster's Dictionary and pointing to uh, an entry and calling their creature that. Um. Alright, so we're going. We're done with our two manhunters. It, it's getting pretty quick. I mean, they, they die really fast, and we're cutting out any unnecessary walking. Uh, so... We are nearing the end of this. Uh, it's not the entire video is not this soon, so rest assured, uh, we will hit our 16 soon, and we will um, uh, we will be going for the eye of the gods, and then turning them all in and unlocking all the sort of the three realms uh, guild tasks. Where is the eyeball? It done disappeared, and just because it disappears doesn't mean it will reappear right away. Like sometimes it'll stay disappeared, you won't know where it is. Um, Sometimes I guess it'll get stuck in geometry, like it doesn't know that it's appearing behind a wall or something. That that happens to the other manhunters in Cybenver if you uh, chose that sixth path to, to hunt them instead of Thornstrand, but uh, they have got so little wiggle room in that zone. <coughs> uh, the hallways are so thin.
And eyeballs need to... Uh, eyeballs need to roam free. Yeah, they can't be uh, pent up. Uh, Glennis is starting to do some uh, decent damage there. She just hit for 18k. And we've really been waiting for her. She didn't do the PC Ultimate Grind, so... We've been kind of waiting for her uh, damage to kick in. Uh, eventually, uh, we, we're going to not need to uh, split. And I can hear the guys jumping out of the water. It's kind of scary. Yeah, there's a butterfly over there to the left, and if that butterfly is not there, um, uh, or the dogs uh, aren't there instead of the butterflies, then... Um, Actually, they're not butterflies. I keep calling them that, but they're called warfish. That's the race of creatures. They look like butterflies, but there are butterflies in the game, and I shouldn't confuse the two. Uh, th those are oarfish. Um, we haven't ever fought a oarfish, nor will we ever, that is challenging. Uh, it's an entire creature of uh, one-rounders. Speaking of one rounders, the eyeballs down, there is no and uh, now for something different. Wow, another main hunter! Yeah, grab that cornea. Nice. Um, I don't know if I saw any ground spawns, but they're good cash. Like all the trips in here, um, it's good cash. We don't need money, but. Um, it's a nice if if you're looking for a place to farm and it doesn't matter if it's Forn Strand and between Forn Strand and another place, try Forn Strand if nothing else just for uh, the cash on your ground. And yay, we're back in Forn Strand again. There's an eyeball off in the distance. The guy's jumping out of the water. And the eyeball disappeared. Where did he go? Where did he go? Aha. Uh -huh. um, yeah, there's no use trying to, like, um, avoid the crabs and the eyeball. Uh, I mean, avoid the crabs to get to the eyeball. Just um, uh, chain every, uh, link everything together. Uh, um, I, I, I've done that a couple times, and it's worked. Uh, there's a strategy when you want a captured creature. Like, um... The eyeballs only come one at a time, and so their chance of capture is very low. Um, if you had a group of six eyeballs or six creatures, then the chance of capture is whatever it is times six, so it's very high uh, chance of capture of at least one of them. Um, and so sometimes a good strategy in order to get um, to increase your chances of a capture is to drag other mobs into it. Like you would run through the crabs and grab two, two or three groups of them and pull them into the eyeball. And then what you want to do is kill the crabs in combat, is kill the crabs first, and so you're left with just the eyeball. And if you kill the eyeball last, then it will get the benefit of however many creatures are in the group. And um, it should increase, it's supposed to increase the chances of uh, capture. And, if you, and this may not sound like a big deal now or uh, to you in the game, but later on it's very important to get captures. And, and it becomes a huge pain to have to continually kill a creature until you can capture it. Um, especially for items to upgrade Rush's weapons and um, other people's weapons. All right. Uh, that's it for him. And that's it for this zone. Um, we are done. At this point in time, we somehow have our uh, 16 manhunters, um, which is, uh, you know, was a rough, rough task. Oh, there's a ground spawn. We're going to get some cash. Come on out. 
Seven grand, nice. Okay, later. Um, yeah, uh, this was definitely one of our most challenging uh, uh, rank tasks that we had to do, guild tasks that we had to do, um, just in the amount of time necessary. Uh, what I'm not showing here is many, many trips here where the eyeballs didn't spawn, many, many trips here where no rare spawned, and many, many trips here that I didn't record. Uh, so uh, several, several hours you can count on just to get that one guild task. Um, but uh, we are now ready to go to Mount Vackel, which is going to look a lot easier than the last one. Uh, we're just here for a rare. Uh, Spirit Beast Wren. And if you... Oh, drink. If we're in Mount Vackel. Um, the, you may have heard me say at one point in time when we were uh, trying to get Death Tank to spawn or something that uh, I had the worst luck with spawns. I, I had good luck, I think, with this one. Because it was a rank 5 and... It wasn't very many attempts to come here, to come here before uh, uh, the spirit beast was up. Um, so you may have more trouble getting the spirit beast Ren to show up. Uh, we are getting awfully adept at making this run through Mount Fackle. And um, I don't think we ever even saw Spirit Beast Wren uh, the entire time we were here before. Um, which was kind of scary uh, when I got to this part, because I was like, well, I know I've been in there a thousand times and I haven't seen him. Okay, so um, this guy's not here. Nothing's here. Um, so that kind of tells us that there's a rare here. But it can't be uh, whoever that guy at the top of the mountain was, um, again, because he was one-time spawn, the, the Colossus guy. I can't remember what his name was again. Um, but it was a name that didn't describe him as uh, didn't describe him very well. Uh, making our way up to the final slope. He will be right here by the chest. We've never seen him until we needed him, and then I saw him, and then we got him. So, it, I mean, it might have been better if we got him, like, while we were making those runs through, uh, for the Union of the Golden Chalice, and we killed, we, would have been nice to kill that rare. We've killed every other rare in this zone, um, many times over. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, better late than never. This is perfect. And um, if you're looking for how to make them spawn, when you zone into this next area here that we're in right now, and nothing is in that cubby hole, uh, just continue up the mountain, and he should be there. Um, him or the Colossus at the top. If it's the Colossus, kill the Colossus, because uh, the next time it'll have to be uh, Spirit Beast Ren. Okay, so that's going to unlock rank 5, the final rank. And we just have uh, the only thing that's holding uh, guild tasks from being open for Sword of the Three Realms is one eyeball, um, the Eye of the Gods. We need to kill Glaganos, and we already got the other eye, the Eye of the Demon. Um, that was a gift. That was just for having somebody with 45 in intellect, which was nothing. Uh, that's peanuts. Or maybe eight of our guys had to have 45 intellect. But either way, that's peanuts. We definitely have that, but... Um, we need to go to Darkened Forest slowly, apparently. Right. Okay, and in here uh, we need uh, these Glaganos guys. Um, they're called a bunch of things, but they're clay golems. Uh, we. Uh, okay, later. We want to cross the bridge and move on to the next. Uh, area of this zone. <clears throat> Got trees on our tail. Trees everywhere. 
trees or or uh, flies. There's a lot of flies in the zone too. Okay, so uh, we'll move into the next area of Darkened Forest. And from now on, kind of like we did in Forge Strand, if I'm ever multiply farming something in the second area of a zone, I just uh, I cut. I don't show the running through the first area but once anymore. I, there's no reason to show that video. Okay, so I'm searching for Glaganos. Um, and we've seen them here the last time we were here. They just they uh, jump right out of the ground uh, around these runes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There's one. And so we got, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And that's awesome. I mean, uh, we need 14, so this is more than half of them. And I know we've killed Glaganus before. Um, uh, but we're probably going to want to be sure of that and uh, take out another group. Nice. Glennis is doing much better. Did everyone see? Uh, what Ding sixty two. Um, if uh, part of 61 uh, is missing from the video, it was uh, repeat trips to um, Fornstrand. Um, so uh, if uh, you're wondering why the XP rushed ahead a little bit, um, we didn't stay 61 very long. Uh, that's because some of 61 was done off camera. Uh, but uh, I, I didn't feel like duplicating stuff anymore. Okay, so we should have some guys uh, jumping out of the ground here. There's one. Oh no, we ran into him. Okay, so uh, there's only two in this one. No. There might be multiple groups of two here. Yeah, there's two groups of two. Okay. Um, and they got, the, they got the drop on us, so maybe we get a heal. We do. We got a heal right off the bat. So that time, uh, allowing the enemy assault... Um, uh, actually worked for us. But, um, not to make it sound like that won't happen. Like, if you're running and guys spawn out of the ground directly in front of me, uh, in front of you, uh, it's entirely possible to run directly into them like that. There is a slight sound before they, uh, burst out of the ground. Ooh, Cademan got his uh, heal upgrade, or his remedy upgrade. Nice. Glaganos Fragment. And maybe we should grab a few more just to... Uh, oh no, we ran into him again. Um, yeah, maybe we should grab a few more uh, just to make sure. We've got 14. Um, so... Now it's probably a sure thing that we have uh, 14. E yes, uh, there's another 8 here. As far as I know, there's nothing else mixed in with them. There's no uh, greater Glaganos or anything like that. Blam! Alright, Roberto is laying the smack down. Oh, nice. Uh, I think that was Balson, and he did like a group cure. Um, so if multiple uh, people are down in a union, uh, Balson now has that remedy art that lets you bring them up. Wow! Damn! Uh, Paris just took the morale from very bottom to very top. 
So maybe we'll get a special attack here. Not that the guy, not that we'll need it, or the guy will even survive uh, long enough. But oh, rush uh, was dodged there, but he he didn't miss. He was dodged. Uh, I think Rush got knocked out, or maybe his, did his group die? Any, oh yeah, Rush didn't get any skill ups at all. Well, there's some there's some skill ups. Nice. Well, help yourself, Emmy. She always seems so happy and so thankful to have uh, whatever whatever drops for. Her. Uh, we're not fighting anything else. Um, we need to unlock uh, all the Sword of the Three Realm tasks. And this has been kind of uh, two videos in the making here. Uh, so we'll finally be able to do that. Uh, hit the world map. Head to Elysian, hopefully. Unless, uh... Unless Rush knows something I don't. Necrotic metal for a lot of these guys. And jewel steel means that their weapons are pretty high. There we go. Heading to town. Heading to our new guild. Um, we just turned in the uh, quest, the uh, task that we had done so far. Um, but now we're going to be able to turn in a bunch and unlock a bunch at the same time. Uh, yeah, let's turn them in here. See, right now we have five vultures, the only two, but it'll explode. Uh, five vultures uh, unlocked rank one. And so a bunch more showed up. Uh, let's see, the ruler of the dawn. Unlocked rank two, and Spirit Woods were third, I think. Yeah, that unlocks rank three, and it's unlocking more and more. Uh, Manhunters were group four, uh, were, were rank four, and uh, Spirit Beast Wren, right, was uh, rank five, and a Mystic Seal formation, uh, which is awesome. It's something we've been waiting for a long time. Uh, we got the glo glove formation. Uh, let's see, Eye of the Gods for doing the Glaganos, and so that unlocks the rest of them. Everything is unlocked now for this guild. Um, we don't uh, we don't have a lot of them done, but uh, you know, we've still got some work to do here. Um, but they're all available now. Anthropore Weekly, uh, we have a Rune Maiden in the, pardon, in the party. Uh, that gives us a Spell Wall formation. Uh, not very useful. The main useful thing there is from Spirit, Be Spirit Beast Wren, which you'll want to kill as soon as possible if you want the Mystic Seal formation. Um, that's what you, uh, that's what you may want to, uh, race toward, uh, if you're not doing a low BR run, uh, and you just need the formation. Anyway, that does it for this one. I'll see you in the next video, where we continue completing Sword of the Three Realm guild tasks. 